Have you guys ever heard of a saying called Blood is thicker than water? So just by that quote itself, hopefully you guys know that I'm actually talking about family and what actually makes us a family. Now, having cousins from America, Norway, Vietnam and all that stuff over there, I can guarantee that if I were to die right now, not a lot of them will give a shit about me dying because mm, there's no connection between us. Legit. Even if we're family, there's no connection between us. Which also comes down to another saying, the bond of a family is far greater than anything else. Hmm. So let's have a bit of scenario here. If you're in need of a kidney transplant and your cousin was a donor, but then your cousin's best friend also needs a kidney transplant and your cousin's also a donor, it's, it's like I said guys, just a scenario, don't take it that seriously. Or don't take it too literally, but you know, like I said, just a scenario. And in this case, you don't really know your cousin at all and your cousin doesn't really know you, but your cousin's best friend, you know, he or she knows that best friend because they've been through ups and downs together, they've been through a lot of things together, that's why they're the best friends. Now, if the cousin was a donor, who would he choose? A cousin that he's never met before and has no related connection with, totally related by blood, or the best friend which has been there for the cousin ups and downs, well, that's probably why they're called best friends. Obviously, we know that that cousin is family member and we know that your best friend is your best friend for a reason. Now, if you think about it, who would you actually choose, you know? A family member? Because, you know, there's a saying, family is above everything else. Or someone that's not family related. Which actually leads me to my opinion saying that family is only family if you guys have a connection with each other, you know? Because let's go a bit deeper here. Let's just say you have a mum and that mum neglected you from childhood. She basically disown you, she, you know, she just gave you a living hell of a nightmare. Can she be really called a mum? Because a mum has a job of a being a mum, but if she doesn't do her job as a mum, then is she really a mum? It's like, would you actually call her a mum or family if, she, you know, if she'd done that to you? My opinion would be no, because, you know, she gave me a living hell, she never acted like a mum, and many more things. So just in case, guys, I do have to say it, this is more of an opinion piece, Nothing in here is related to what the people that I know or myself. Just an opinion thing or what you think or what I think. Because I've been thinking about this, like if my cousins from any other countries were to die or something like that, I probably would just feel nothing for them because I don't know them. I just know that they were my cousins, now they're dead and the family's in grief and all that stuff. I do have to say my piece, you know, I'm sorry for your loss and all that st stuff, but I think in deep down inside me, I don't really care. But if my best friend were to die and my best friend's not family related or blood related with me, then I would feel sad if my best friend died because my best friend is my best friend for a reason. But like I said, he's not family. Because what I think is that whoever you can trust the most and whoever you can rely on and is always there for you, you can probably call that actual family. Depending how you take on the word family and what you think it means. Because at the end of the day, we are all humans. Yeah? No matter family related or not family related, we're all humans. We dislike each other, we hate each other, we like each other, we love each other. You know, many more, it's complicated being a human. Which I also want to say that there's some people out there with a really strong family bond, you know, like the extended family and the family, it's like they just bond with each other so well. That's why they're a strong family. And those people would definitely choose their family over anything else because they have a strong bond with each other. So it makes sense. So then it comes down to a point that I made before is that family can only be family if you have a huge connection with each other. You know, your best friend can be your family because you guys have a strong ass bond together. And not only that, you know, you know you can rely on them if you need to because and they're willing to help you out. Because I had family members in the past that really, you know, sort of corrupted me. Let's just say that they, they did something pretty bad. And I can't really call them family if they do that to me, you know? But then you have people saying, you know, you should forgive them because they're your family. But then, here comes to my saying, is that no matter if they're family or not, they're humans. If they fuck you over, well, can you trust them again? Doesn't matter if they're family, they're still fucking humans. So then which leads to a point, a family can only be a family if you keep that connection with each other and you make it strong. If not, if you cut the connection, well then, is it a family anymore? I don't think so. Well, this is what I think, guys. You know, a family can only be family if you guys have a connection together. You know, it doesn't have to be 
actual blood related family it can be anyone that you can trust you can rely on and you know they won't lie to you or something like that that's what you call family obviously there's like a deeper meaning to that than saying it just like plainly you know guys this is my opinion on it let me know what you think because what i believe is that we're all from different families we're all from different personal lives so our, our train of thought is how we were raised up and this is my thinking you know this is my opinion on it because this is how i was sort of raised up and this is how what i gathered the information from and this is what i purely think so if so thanks for listening and yeah bye